Okay, I've been showing you some of our reciprocating engines that we've built. And after we tired of building those, we figured it would be, uh, if we really wanted to generate some power or torque with our engines for powering some of our creations, that we do kind of like a hybrid uh, turbine. Obviously an axial turbine, at least with our blocks in the 90s, that had a collection of assorted stuff from 70s and 80s up to mid 90s there was no way to do it an axial turbine so I think this was one of our first ones and um, mind you I'm running uh, my vacuum on about 30 feet of hose so I have a loss of pressure but when you're right up close to the uh, machine and really use something with a lot of vacuum these things are pretty powerful in fact uh, this one here has spun so fast I had to tape what it did to the pulleys you can see the pulleys that just absolutely disintegrated and when you're spinning at those RPMs, you have to get creative in how you put the blocks together. We were actually shearing parts off. You can see I've had this one running. And the uh, one but two blocks in there that form the paddle, they're put in shear. And they're starting to separate. You can see that one's pulled apart. And that one's pulled apart. Um, I use a tri-rotor. I think it's from an airplane maybe, the Lego Technic set. But I only have one of them because I broke my other one. So the other side, I just shoved the knob right in the pulley. But anyways, uh, it makes pretty wicked sound. I'm going to have to uh, try and get the vacuum nozzle in here. Because the intake on it, the air is drawn in here and exhausted out here. And so the intake on it, uh, I have to try to seal it with my uh, bandana. So I'm going to set the phone down get it going. Then I'll pick the phone up. And it makes pretty cool sound. So hang on a minute here. If you listen, you can hear it rev up as I as I get it ready here. reason we built those paddle wheel turbines is if you wanted to actually power something like a little model sawmill or something these things put out a constant torque versus reciprocating engines we found weren't weren't as powerful of course your uh, your Lego vacuum engines that are built today they look like they put out considerably more power um, so I'll stop this video and then I'll move on to the uh, next Lego turbine there <laughs> 